Alright, three, two, one. G'day guys, it's James here from Total Balance Chiropractic. Uh, NADOC week is almost upon us, so what we thought we'd do is interview um, one of our patients who is a remarkable young Indigenous lady and also uh, one of Total Balance Chiropractic sponsored athletes. So welcome along, Crystal Bellinger. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. <laughs> okay, so Crystal, this year's NADOC theme is because of her we can. Yes. And uh, I know that uh, you've been helped in your journey by some pretty amazing ladies, not mm -hmm. least of which is your mum, Caroline, who's mm -hmm. one of our um, amazing staff members. Um, and so you and your mum are from the uh, Camilleroy people up yes. in northwestern New South Wales. Yeah. So just tell us a little bit about your journey from, from home, how you came to be in, in Newcastle. So I'm originally from Dubbo. Um, unfortunately, there's not very many opportunities for sporting. So we moved to Newcastle a year and a half ago to grab any opportunity that we possibly could to further the sporting career. <laughs> yeah, great. Sorry. And so you're um, at Hunter Sports High as well as playing in a number of teams yes. around town? Um, I was fortunate enough to make the Hunter United Metro League team and playing for school and playing for West Balance for Saturday Comp. In the Greater Open. You're always on the go. It's pretty hard <laughs> to keep up with how, how often you play. Now, um, yeah, you're being a very talented netballer. Um, not a lot of people may know this, but we've actually only had two Indigenous players represent Australia in netball. Is that right? Yes. And the, light, the most recent was about 20 years ago. Is that correct? Okay, so um, you're obviously pretty motivated to want to do well with your career. And another lady who's helped you out is Newcastle's own Sam Pullman. Yes. who are uh, former Diamond, mm -hmm. um, and she's set up a pretty amazing training scheme for youngsters around Newcastle. So just tell us a little bit about the work that she's doing with, with you young netballers. Um, so I first met Sam when I first moved here and made the Hunter Academy of Sport for netball, and that's when we first met, and she came and helped us train and just gave us tips and tricks to improve our netball, and that's when I was also introduced to... Her Aspire program, which was just at first a trial run, but it was actually very successful and really educational and helped us a lot. Yeah. And, and um, from what I understand, it's not just netball on the court stuff. It's oh no, it's mental, that, physical, yeah, all that sort yeah, of stuff. All the things you need to know yeah. to develop into a professional athlete. Yeah. Fantastic. Now another hidden talent of yours. <laughs> You're a pretty amazing artist. Yeah. Um, and bring this up for us. Show the people at home. So Crystal was selected by the Greater Western Sydney Giants netball team to design their NADOC week uniform, which you can see right in front of you. It's pretty amazing work. So tell us a little bit about how this amazing uh, uh, job came to fall into your lap as well. Um, so that Aspire program, I was unfortunately injured for the majority of it. So I couldn't run. I was in a boot. Um, and no, not fun. <laughs> Um, she actually incorporated me any way that she could. She'd always be by my side to make sure I was okay and I wasn't pushing it, I wasn't overdoing it and I just wanted to say thank you for all her time and effort that she put into not only the other girls training with us but for just including me any way that she could. So I painted a giant's hat just around the broom with indigenous designs <laughs> and gave it to her as a thank you. And she actually took it to the head um, Giants Media Committee and said that this is the girl, she has amazing talent, um, she is the person who could design our dresses. And last year, on the last day of school, she came to school and surprised her with the opportunity to Design the dresses. Wow. Well, well, look at what you've produced, I'd say. You made, definitely made the right call. Now, um, you and your mum, you've been on a bit of a journey learning about you know, the history and culture of your people, and I imagine that there might be certain situations where young Indigenous people um, can feel maybe a bit disconnected from their, from their history. Um, so tell us about how, you know, how NADOP helps with that. Like what, what does NADOP mean to you? Um, it's all about bringing the community together and educating everyone who wants to be educated about the culture. It is a, the oldest culture in the world, apparently. Yeah. And um, so they've got workshops, they've got um, culture days. So on the foreshore, they have a culture day with 
all this informational, educational stuff. And they have quite a few workshops going around. I know of one in Charlestown Square that they're doing a art workshop. So yep. you get to learn the symbols and just different techniques to all the dotting and yep. different art styles. Cool. So for us non-Indigenous folk, that might be a great way for us yeah, to be able to yeah, start to learn definitely. more about the culture of our nation's first people. Yeah, great. Definitely. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think you'll agree, a pretty impressive young lady, <laughs> and uh, and we certainly wish Crystal all the best in her uh, in her netball career, and we certainly encourage everyone to get out there and get involved in NADOC. So we're going to be posting some links uh, to some Facebook groups and some various other resources that you can look at um, to get in, involved in NADOC this year uh, and help celebrate our nation's first people. Uh, and until next time, uh, James from Total Balance Chiropractic, we'll catch you guys again soon. Bye. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>